Silver and gold confiscation. Could your silver and gold be confiscated in modern times? We've got a big, big news story, and I'm going to show you the reasons why for the first time in my entire silver, gold, precious metal stacking career, I'm actually a little scared. For the first time, I got that feeling like, wow, this could really happen. We know it happened back in 1933 when President Roosevelt took away everybody's gold. But do we have a news story today from Israel that indicates a trend that could be moving to the West? Elimination of cash and not allowing people to hold on to large amounts of silver and gold. We need to pay attention to this. I'm going to show you the reasons why I'm scared right now. Thank you for joining me here in the basement. You are the most important part of Ron's Basement. This does not exist without your participation. So thank you. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. That gets the word out to more people. And super chats and super thanks are always super appreciated. We're going to go to a news article that gives some details on what's being proposed by Israeli leader Netanyahu, and it could strike the fear of confiscation into the hearts of us, silver and gold stackers. Take a deep breath, silver and gold stackers, because things are about to get interesting. This comes from ynetnews.com. Kill Bill. Netanyahu pushing for quick phase out of 200 shekel banknote. As part of a fight against black market money, officials considering eliminating highest denomination of Israeli currency soon and gradually phasing out cash entirely. And we've been talking about how this move away from cash, from physical money, in the slow move to CBDCs is happening right before our very eyes. And as far as I know, in terms of Western ally countries with the United States, this is the first example of a proposal to move very strongly in that direction, getting rid of cash. Look, if you go to amusement parks in the United States or if you go to Major League Baseball games or NFL football games, they've already phased out cash. Guys, this is real and this is happening right before our very eyes. But wait until you hear what they're proposing with silver and gold. It is genuinely frightening. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu instructed top officials on Thursday to urgently discuss the immediate discon discontinuation of the 200 shekel banknote, the highest denomination of Israeli currency. We go down a little further. In the medium term, the plan calls for a drastic reduction in cash use, aiming to eliminate cash transactions altogether within a few years, with payments to be made exclusively through bank transfers or credit cards. The initiative also includes a new voluntary disclosure campaign, which would allow tax evaders to avoid prosecution if they declare previously undeclared income. Additionally, the plan proposes lowering the threshold for transactions requiring pre-approval from the tax authority from 25,000 shekels to 5,000 shekels, which is the equivalent of 1,350 U.S. dollars. That means Anytime you want to do a transaction above that level, you need to get pre-approval, a move that has drawn criticism from business groups who argue it would burden the payment system. Now, we're going to talk about the scary part, gold and silver, next. But can you see this move away from pr monetary privacy into one where the government controls and monitors every financial transaction that you do? Are we moving towards a true CBDC system? Is this Israel's first step? And remember, Israel is very much allied with the United States. This is downright scary to me. Next, we're going to talk about their proposals, which sound a lot like confiscation to me. But before we do that, I want to say thanks to channel sponsor Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. They check all 
the boxes. Hey, if you want to get your hands on some silver, gold, platinum group medals while we still can, you might want to check out Pembex. If you're shopping online at the big online bullion dealers, do yourself a favor and compare what you can get at Pembex for the exact same amount of that paper, unicorn fart dust, fiat money that you're going to be converting from that into real metals. I think you'll find what I found before they sponsored my channel. And that is you always get ultra competitive pricing, more metal for your money at Pembex. Great selection. And it's a company that you can trust. And if you ever go, if you ever go to convert part or all of an IRA into precious metals, take your time, shop around, please. Talk to the guys at Pimbex, see what they can do for you. Compare how many actual ounces of gold and silver you can get from the different options that are out there for IRA conversions. And if you do that, I think you might just be shocked at what Pimbex can do for you. This next section is not recommended for people with weak hearts or who are prone to panic attacks because wait till you hear what they're talking about with silver and gold. Similar steps have been implemented in other countries. In parts of China, the use of cash has been completely banned in certain cities. Oh, gee, so we're going to be moving towards China and how they treat their citizens with CBDCs. That sounds like a real great idea. The plan includes several additional measures, and this is where we get the silver and gold, expanding reporting obligations for citizens with income to the tax authorities. Launching a joint enforcement program involving all relevant agencies, including tax authority, anti-money laundering authority, police, the prosecutor's office, and the counterterrorism economic warfare headquarters. Let that all sink in. They also want to utilize artificial intelligence to identify tax evaders. Increasing oversight of non-bank financial entities, including currency exchange providers, which handle substantial amounts of black market money. That sure seems a lot like that book I had to read in high school. What was it called? 1984? I'll let you review that list on your own and come to your own conclusions. The final bullet point is the one that will strike fear into our hearts. They also right, are considering this additional measure. Banning the holding of large amounts of cash alternatives, such as gold, silver, metals, and coins, banning your ability, from what I read here, to hold on to gold, silver, metals, or coins. Guys, this is downright scary. And this is 2024, not 1984 and not 19. 33. Now, this is what's being proposed, I'll emphasize, in Israel. If it goes through, are we next? Are we going to see some type of so uh, a program in the United States to get rid of cash and ban citizens from holding metals? I sure hope not. How would you react? How do you think the precious metals stacking community in the United States would react? Don't forget, our founding fathers wrote gold and silver into the into the most revered document of our country, the United States Constitution. I think this is a very scary proposition. Look, I'm not saying that we're going to wake up tomorrow and be told that we can't uh, stack silver, stack gold, but it sure feels like this is a scary, scary move by Israel one that I'm sure our friends in Israel who hold silver and hold gold aren't very keen of. We'll have to keep an eye on this and see how this plays out. And we'll survive this, basement dwellers. We always do. Again, thank you for joining me. You are part of the group, right? We join up down here in the basement. We keep ourselves abreast as to what's going on throughout the world in the precious metals community. Because don't forget, silver and gold right? They're a worldwide market. We're friends from all around the world. Please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment so we can learn from you. I also want to say thanks to channel sponsor First Mining Gold for making this video 
possible. They're a Canadian gold development company with two multi-million ounce projects in Canada and our good friends at Fortuna Mining. They're mining silver and gold in Latin America, and they're mining a lot of gold in West Africa. Do me a favor. Come back to the basement. I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time.